sweetheart. Oh, look at you. All tucked into bed nice and cute. Failing to fall asleep. But that's okay. There's no need to get up early. I've decided you have the day off tomorrow. Oh, that's okay. You don't need to care about those kinds of responsibilities. I told you, didn't I? I'm not just your mommy. I'm your sugar mommy. So let me take care of everything, okay, baby boy? What's the point of me being filthy, stinking rich if I can't spoil my pretty boy rotten? I was put on this earth to forfeit all mortal possessions to you. So I'll pay for all of your living expenses and anything you want as a present too. You just have to ask, okay baby? Mommy is a sucker for your puppy dog eyes. So you know you can just ask mommy for whatever you want and I'll say yes in a heartbeat. You've got my heart under lock and key, you lady killer, you. Hey, we should do something fun. I mean, mommy is already having fun. It's fun just to look at you. In fact, you're such a good boy, it's fun to just be next to you. You make me feel young again. But I should make sure you're having fun too, cutie. Ah, uh, I know. Would it be fun for you if I told you how much I love you? Because I really, really love you. I love you more than coffee, and you know I have a problem with that. I love you more than the chocolate bars I buy in bulk. I even love you more than the mochi I stress eat when I'm away from you. Huh. I would probably sound a lot more profound if I compared you to something other than food. But you know I have good intentions. You know I mean well. I always do. Even if the results aren't always so great. Like, remember that time you were scared because I crawled through your window to get to you? And you were scared because at first you thought I was an intruder? Well, I guess I was technically an intruder. But I just wanted to spend some time with you, you know? My intentions were completely innocent. And your door was locked, and I was worried because I sent you 300 messages, and you didn't answer any of them, so I was really worried about you. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, is that I really, really, really love you, darling. Even if I'm weird about it sometimes. Like even if I collected a piece of your hair. Don't worry, it's not for nefarious purposes. I'm not going to curse you or cast a spell on you or anything. I just wanted a keepsake for my darling good boy because I love you so, so, so much. Besides, even if I was a witch that cast spells or something, I wouldn't curse you. I would just curse everyone who got in between you and me, down to even their descendants to like... Six or eight generations. Seven, maybe. That's a lucky number. But why think about other people when I can think about you, precious? You're so precious. And you know it's true coming from me, because I'm rich. So I know about precious things. Like, I have lots of expensive things. Like a private prison where I'm going to punish everyone who hits on you. But you're more precious than that and more. You're worth more than everything I own. Which is a lot. No, seriously, it's so much. 
but you're worth even more than that. You're so precious that I don't know how to handle it. It's so overwhelming. <sighs> what am I going to do with you? Actually, on second thought, I know exactly what I'm going to do with you. Mommy is going to hug you every day and give you lots and lots of kisses every day and fawn over you and protect you and track your phone so that I know you're safe and I'll also do some other things that may or may not be legal. That sounds nice, doesn't it? It's just that you're such a good boy that you make me want to do those kinds of things for you. Ah, I love calling you a good boy. My good boy. So I think I'll do it a few more times. You're my good boy. You're my good boy. You're my very good boy. Sorry, I hope you don't find it demeaning when I call you my good boy. Because I know normally that's something you say for dogs. But I mean it in the most respectful sense possible. Which is important, because I can't find it in myself to stop saying it. I know you're a person, and you have a name and all. But when I look at you, the first word that enters my mind about what to call you is just my good boy. Well, okay, that's more than one word, but you know what I mean. You do know what I mean, right? Okay, okay, good. I think I was going to say something else, but your cuteness made mommy forget. Oh well, I'm sure whatever thought I forgot isn't more important than your cuteness. Your cuteness takes priority over everything after all. Eating? Nope. Your cuteness takes priority. Drinking? Nope. Your cuteness is more important. Even for coffee. Hiding the bodies? This might come as a surprise, but your cuteness reigns supreme once again. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. That was just for comedic effect. I don't actually have any bodies to hide. Yet. I'm keeping my options open. Oh no, I hope I didn't upset you. I'll try to be more peaceful, okay baby? Mommy doesn't want to make her darling baby boy sad. I'll try and make it up to you. Let's see. How can I make it up to you? Should I give you a love poem a day for the rest of your life? Should I give you a shipping container full of roses? I could also give you millions of dollars, but that doesn't hold quite the same sentimental value, in my opinion. And the sentimental value is incredibly important to me, of course, because I love, 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 love you, darling. You're the most important person in the world, and especially in my life. Which is why I'm going to keep you forever. Forever and ever. You're my good boy. Mine. I won't let you get away. I mean, I'll try to be nice about it, of course. You know, I'll try Barbary before captivity. You know what I'm like. 
bribing you with money and love and hugs and kisses and some other unspeakable things. So far, it seems to be working. You're a very good boy and haven't tried to run away ever since. Mommy is very proud of you, baby. Keep this up and there won't ever be a need for chains. <laughs> Unless you want them, of course. Mommy is open-minded. Unless you try to leave me, I'm not open-minded in that way. But why would you try to leave? You're a good boy, and I'm such a good mommy, aren't I? I give you so much every day. I tell you how much I love you every day. And I make sure to always say it at least 100 times every day. But honestly... Even if I didn't do that consciously, I know I'd still say it at least a hundred times because it's so instinctive. I love you. Oh, <laughs> see? I did it again. You can see how hard I've fallen for my good baby boy. I'm a million miles below sea level. That's how hard I've fallen for you. Wait, actually, would that put me in space? Because then in a way, I'd kind of be above sea level. What's the diameter of the Earth? <laughs> you know what? It's okay. Never mind that. It's just an expression. All you have to know is that I have fallen for you very, very hard. Okay, darling? I've fallen for you so hard that I have thousands and thousands of pictures of you on my phone. I bought the one terabyte memory card and never regretted my purchase for even a second. And I have backups too, just in case that one gets corrupted or something. And backups of the backups. All because I love looking at you. I'd rather look at the real you in person, of course, but I like collecting memories of you. And you know why? <laughs> because you're such a good boy. Yes, you are. The very best. You're the number one good boy who has ever lived. And you know what's the best of all? That you're my good boy. <laughs> That's right. All mine and no one else's. How could I give you to anyone else? There's no way I could. I just love you too much. I love you down to your very fingerprint. Mommy just loves you so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. You'll be my good boy forever, won't you? Won't you, baby? Can you do that for mommy? Please? I'd appreciate it very much. It'd mean the world to me. I need you. I need you to be mine forever. I can't function without you. What would I do without you? I'd probably cry myself to sleep every night. But when I have you, I can cuddle you to sleep every night instead. It's much better. And when I have you, I can hold you and play with your hair and give you kisses on the cheek and tell you that I love you and look at your cute smile and so many other wonderful things. See? It's much better for me to have you. So you'll be mine, right? You'll be mommy's? That's my good boy. Such a good boy. I don't know how you're always such a good boy, but mommy won't question it. I guess it's just part of your charm. Hmm. 
You know, I think I'm forgetting something. Oh, right. I said earlier we should do something fun. But then your cuteness distracted me and made me go on an unhinged love rant. How about that? Did you just want to sleep or do something else? Well, what do you think, baby? Is there anything fun you want to do with mommy? You know I can't say no to my darling baby boy.